<laughs> You're rolling, by the way. Ah, oh. the oh, main get man. Get it on camera, man. Get it on camera. Get the hog on camera. Joined by yeah. Don Charles and Spencer Ferron. Yeah, bless. Let me tell you this now, yeah? <laughs> Don Charles is a little bitch, but I love him. I'm just telling you this now. I love him. He's my bigger brother. We have fools out like brothers do. Brothers do. But because brothers, we're... That's yeah, what brothers make up as well. Is that, exactly. And let me tell you this now. You see where my mother passed away? Don Charles, well, the, loads of men in the boxing community was amazingly supportive. Because I was going through a very, very bad patch. Which I, I don't mind speaking about. I speak about it. You know what I mean? But then, as you know, um, I've just come back from Palestine. Where we've done the food aid out there. Right? So a massive big up to Al Medina 313 Charity. Um, and when you go and you see people who are living royally in big houses and all the rest of it and are now living in tents, but their little kids are running around uh, barefoot playing football, smiling and laughing like it's nothing, then you know that God is great. And the mere fact that I see my brother from another mother who has <laughs> known me since I've been 11 years old, you know? Correct. He was my Correct. senior. Yeah. Correct. Uh, at the Brixton Brooklyn District ABC, Boxing Club. Brixton and um, Brixton District Boxing Club. And Don Charles used to be in there. And people don't realize that Don Charles can dance. It the keeps man. Them. But the, no one's seen me no, dance. No, here. no. If you ever see. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I want, I want you to guys, you young kids, go and Google the Pasadenas. The Pasadena's a pop group in the early 80s, going into the late 80s. And Don Charles was one of them guys. Who's, Don Charles used to have a jury curl and everything. I warned Don Charles, because now he's bald. I warned him, you know. I said, Don, don't, don't put those chemicals in your hair, bro. Yeah, I mean, don't put those chemicals. I'll pay the yeah, I mean, price. yeah, I said because yeah. we never see Martin Luther King with no chemicals in his hair. Don't put it in your hair, but it's all good. But Don's my guy. Don, good, Don quick one before I let you go. Uh, Thanks, Ben. Philip Hergovich keeps going on about this spa that he had with Daniel years yeah. ago. Daniel even mentioned Correct. That. I wasn't there, but I can only say about what he said. Daniel was 21 years old. Yeah? Whatever I suppose have happened, if that's what he's going to hold on to, all I can say is good luck. On that note, thank you, Tom. <laughs> Listen, I want to say this. Spa is sparring, yeah? We all know what happened in the spa because I remember when it happened, yeah? And all the rumours, oh, he got long time sparring. Listen, let me tell you this now, yeah? I want people to realise this, yeah? I'll drop issue on these little punks, right? Um, Bob Foster, one of the greatest light heavyweight champions of all time, yeah? In, in 1971, floors Muhammad Ali in sparring. But when they end up fighting, Ali played with him. So don't watch sparring. You know what sparring's for? Sparring's to hone your thing. Let me tell you this now, yeah? If I go and I beat Usain Bolt in 100 meters, yeah? Like we're outside and I say, come, let's race. And I beat you, Usain Bolt, yeah. in training. No, no, I'm not even training. Yeah. I see him out on the road and I say, come, let's race. And I beat him. I can never beat the man on the track. And now that Daniel Dubois with this man here, Don Charles, one of the most underrated trainers in the country, yeah? A man who is meticulous and studious, yeah? All Daniel Dubois needed was that hub, that family hub. He's got that now with Don Charles. A man that can relate to him, a man that knows how to get him, a man that knows that who gets him. That's what Don does, right? And now great is his reward. So, Hergovic is going to get done. Because I, I'm telling you he's going to get done. Because Hergovic has not impressed anybody in his last few fights. I'm just calling it as it is. And I know he lost his dad when he, last year, right? And that, that plays a massive toll, yeah? But... Daniel Dubois right now, he could have coasted the last round against Big Baby Miller, right? Because Don just said, stay out, I watch, watch fights, I, listen, I love listening to the corner. And Don was saying, look, you're doing really good, just stay behind the jab, double it up and keep on moving. Daniel Dubois said, I hear you, Don. He started it and said, you know what, brother, I want to clap out a man. And that's what you know, he's got that bit between his teeth. And you could hear how he's articulating himself now, because no one else speak better Queen's English than Don Charles, you know that? Right? So then, yeah, no, but yeah, I know. It's, I, keep up, I, keep, I keep up again. Yes, my bro. No, bro. You right? So I'm saying nobody, I'm telling you this now, Hergovic is in trouble. He is in trouble. Back me up, Don. He's in trouble. Big trouble. Capital B, capital I, capital G. Early knockout for Daniel? By any means necessary. No, I'm, I'm, you're going to obviously back Daniel, but I'm asking. What, am I saying knockout? Early, are you saying an early knockout for Daniel, yeah? Listen, Daniel's going to start fast. He's going to do his thing. I don't know what Don's sitting down and working. I'm just backing Daniel Dubois. Do you understand where it goes? You have to back the Brit. Simple as that. Who wins then, Frank or Eddie, out of the five fights? You know what? I'm going to be real with you, right? I'm divided on certain of the fights, yeah? So, so I believe... 
I mean, I I believe. Knockout yeah. Points. I so, know that much. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I phone you tonight, yeah. <laughs> right. So I'm saying, I'm saying, boxing's one. Let's just be real. Boxing has one, and I know it's cliche, but boxing has absolutely one. Massive respect that we got to go give to Turkey Al Sheikh for saying I'm gonna put this on. You know what I mean? Bivol Baturviev is the oh. thing that I am not interested in nothing else. I'm interested in that fight. That fight's an a incredible fight. It's an incredible fight for so many different reasons. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to that fight more than anything. All the rest of the fights, I don't really care about them. You do, you do. You do. I don't you care do. about them. All right, let me do this another way just before we close off. So obviously you got Frank Wonnell up because he said Daniel Dubois is going to make easy work of Philip Bergovic. July Zhang with Deontay Wilder. No, no, Don Charles is gone now. No, you know what? That, no, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> July Zhang nah, with You're going to get broke up. Zhang or Wilder? Huh? Zhang or Wilder? Um, if Deontay Wilder reverses back to Zhang, then I've got Deontay Wilder winning the fight. Okay, so it's and, I spoke to, and I spoke to Deontay Wilder today, so massive big up to Spencer Brown. Right, he put him on the phone and we had a really good chat. You know what I mean? Because you know what I mean? He was beefing for years. Right, but then he realised what, what's going on. Good guy, and I got him coming out victorious. Okay, so that's one all. Uh, yep. Shiraz v Williams. Hamza Shiraz. That's two one to Frank. Uh, Ray Ford v Nick Paul. I haven't seen a lot of um, Ray Ford, but from what I'm hearing, he's very good. But Nick Ball is different. He's he's a monster. Um, that's a close fight, you know. It's a close fight. I mean, I don't want to spoil it for you and say who you think. It's a close fight. But I want Nick Ball to win. I'm okay. just going to go Ball. 